Summer on, we will be doing a 2v2 tournament, and yes, run I'm on, or Jetfire Forever, or Hunter Simp, as he is known on Steam. Or may praise the glorious Honk Mother. Two Honks for the Praise the Honk Mother team. So, let me start by introducing our players. On the blue team, we have the Stray Cats. Consisting of the players, Soren the Pirates to with his Angry Bird of the Ether Hawk, sporting this loadout. Player number two is Tigris Altaika with his Steel Worm, uh, Obsidian Lindworm, sporting this loadout. Oh, that seems familiar. And then on the other side in red, we have Price the Honk Mother with Agent B, a Yellow Submarine, kind of, sporting this loadout. Oh, forward facing torpedoes. And lastly, we have Hunter Simp with the ship. I know what I'm doing, River Markovet, sporting this loadout. And this time around, I will be focusing my eyes on the red team here. See, my camera has just wandered off. And we can already see a red team. So we have um, two forward facing weapons, the rest is side facing weapons. But I think the Steel Worm was a purely forward facing build. Yes, indeed. So uh, we want, and Soren the Pirate Destroyer went with his Angry Bird there, went for a one sided build. There we go, first shots fired. Steel Worm opening up on, a, on I Know What I'm Doing. Torpedoes are out. Actually, appear to be on a very good trajectory, and they actually impact and immediately kill off the Steel Worm. So, you can say about torpedoes what you want. If an explosive torpedo hits something as small as a, uh, as a lindworm, it will kill it. But I know what I'm doing is taking an awful lot of heat and has just been surrendered. And now the Angry Bird is focusing all of its attention on this yellow submarine. I'm on the one pro wrong player. There we go. On this uh, yellow submarine. Shots are out. But I think in this 1v1 engagement, the one-sided build of... Soren will rule supreme. It seems that, uh, at least according for, at least for Hunter Simp, he wasn't dead just yet. But with that, in this very first match, it will be the Stray Cats obtaining the victory. And we will be right back for the second round.
And with that, it is time to load into the second round of this best of three. And what our players have agreed upon is first match, Corvettes, second match, Heavy Frigates, and should a third match be required, a mix of both. So, a Heavy Frigate with a Corvette Escort. Okay, but now it's time. For well, this one, you already know the player teams, but I'm gonna go through them once again, again, again. Starting with the red team this time, we have Slappy Maxplody flying a Victory Falcon. Oh, Mary. Uh, sorry, Agent B flying the Slappy Maxplody, sporting this loadout here. Then we have Hunter Sim with the Bad Dragon, Stone Dragon, flying this loadout right here. That actually seems rather familiar. Then on the other side, we have Secret Altaika. With his stone dragon called Granite Dragon. Loading this loadout. And lastly, we have Soren the Pie Destroyer with his Dragon's Keep, another stone dragon. Buying this loadout. Okay then. Let's see how this one will turn out. Yep, camera did what camera is supposed to do. Okay, it seems like um, the blue team, our Stray Cats, are going for more of a line of battle approach. Making sure that their broadside is always facing the enemy. Actually, Ash and uh, props for that, no one-sided builds here. Everyone has both broadsides available to them. And also everyone has shields and... <laughs> well, I guess shields are a bit of a given on a heavy frigate. Oh, we see, might see a bit of a crash here. Slap him explodey. Actually bringing some forward facing weaponry. I missed that. Yes, they have uh, two forward facing mana facing mana bolt discharges. That for some reason detonated on themselves? No. No, they got hit by Howie's, okay. So they are in range of the dragon's keep and the granite dragon here. Slap him explodey already taking an awful lot of damage to the front, losing half of their port uh, port broadside. And now also losing the front of their ship quite extensively. Taking an awful lot of damage here, and they are surrendered. At least only the bad dragon on the field. And apparently you can shoot through your friends? No, you can't. They are impacting on each other, okay. Bad dragon now coming in. For some reason, Soren and uh, Tigris are still shooting at the slab and explode. Maybe they aren't surrendered for them. Now the Grand Dragon just uh, the Grand Dragon just took, an, took quite a slap to the rear, and the Dragon's Keep is in no position to really help with that. But uh, yeah, the Grand Dragon taking an awful lot of damage and going down. That leaves just the Bad Dragon and the Dragon's Keep on the field. But the Dra Bad Dragon has already been severely injured. Uh, okay, we once again are seeing a few bugs, but it's fine. Ah, oh, for the time being, you can shoot through friendlies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it will be the Stray Cats obtain the victory in this first match of the evening, which secures...
I'm just gonna quickly chime in here. At the moment, we have a bit of a problem that the uh, vanisher team, the vanishers, are not showing up. As far as I, yep, they're not in the lobby. They haven't really responded on Discord or anything. So I will put out um, a deadline for them until half past, which at the moment is two minutes. And afterwards, I will sadly have to consider their match forfeited. And unlike in the previous tournament, I cannot um, you do another match beforehand because uh, there is no other match to do. So sadly, should they not show up, I will have to consider the the second semi-final forfeited. And since we will have a bronze match and we would have to wait for that, we will do the finals then. And should they show up after the finals, we will do the bronze match then. But um, it would be really a shame if we actually have to do this. Um, and I hope we don't. So, fingers crossed for Riverdike and Orchid to show up.
So I will just chime in once more. Sadly, our two opponents um, are the people that make up Team Vanisher have not shown up. Sadly, they have sticked to their name. Um, so we will be moving on to the finals right now. And the finals will be Stray Cats going up against William Wellington. And this will be best of five. And the match, the ship sizes that have been decided upon will be heavy frigates and light frigates alternating. So we are about ready to go into the very first match here. Just need, I uh, don't know which one it is. Okay, there we go. It is time. Back to my game audio. There we go, there is game audio. It is time for the finals. Stray Cats versus William Wellington, the developer team. Best of five. And... Heavy frigates and light frigates. See yeah, how this goes. Okay, I'm gonna start us off. Little Dragon S. With the blue... Blue team here. Number one is Tika Zaltika with his Little Dragon S. It's a stone dragon. Flying. This loadout, next up, we have Sora and the Pirate Destroyer with his Dragon's Keep. Which is also another Stone Dragon supporting this loadout. And then, on the opponent's side, we have Dried Slime. I don't know which one it is, either Tin or Bay. Flying his Snipey, a Mana Griffin. With, ooh, this loadout. Spicy. And lastly, we have either Tin or Bay. With his Beef Wellington, another Mana Griffin. Buying this loadout. Oh, very much, very forward facing. Kinda like it. So, what um, our players here with the Mana Griffins can definitely abuse is that the Mana Cannons they have, they have, both of them have at least four forward facing Mana Cannons, outrange anything on the two Stone Dragons there. So, sniping is very much a possibility. But aside from that, I think they went for an awful lot of point of um, missile weaponry. Oh, there we go. Actually, first shot's fired. No hits just yet. That all ended up in an island. There we go. First volley fired. The dragon has the shields are immediately down. And damage has been taken, but there we go. Also, first shot's fired from the blue team. And the little dragon has, has, is systematically being dismantled here, already have missing the majority of their starboard side and eating an awful lot of damage here. The two mana griffins are moving forwards. The Dragoness has been surrendered and is still able to move. And they, he is moving to uh, position himself in front of his ally to make sure that his ally is not getting shot. But... So this is what the devs have been scheming, and there we go, they are surrendered. So I'll have to well and uh, charge in with the camera. Uh, come on, get off the map border, please. For this match to end. So this is one thing I would like to point out. Uh, the camera will always be on the blue team. So should the red team win, I, I will have to charge in and... Uh, Make sure that this magic. There we go. Okay, camera angle here. Valiantly charging in. I'm gonna go for a ram attack on the on the sniper. If I even make it that far. Probably not, considering they have mana cannons. I don't. There we go. So with that. We have the first round of this best of five completed, and we will be now moving on to the second second round.
And with that, we are coming back to the second round of Raycats versus William Wellington in the finals here. <clears throat> so, there we go. This time I'm drawing up will be Light Frigates. Uh, camera actually takes me. So, starting off, we have Sir on the Pirate Destroyer with his Iron Drake at Drake's Claw, it's called. Sporting this lovely loadout here. Then we have uh, Tikris Altika, another uh, Iron Drake called Rydy. Sporting this. Oh, that's why it's called Rydy. All weapons face to the right. And then on the other side, we have Tin. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, flying the um, Nuva Ridian Corsa. Or the Viridian Corsa. Sporting this loadout here. And lastly, we have Bay with his Sunday special, another Viridian Corsa. Flying this load. Okay, both. Both ships on the red team have uh, one-sided builds to a certain extent. The the Wellington is not 100% one-sided. He has a few weapons facing starboard, but their guns are port facing. While in the case of Tika Zaltika, his build is um, entirely right facing, while the Drake's Claw has both broadsides. So what we'll be seeing here is the blue team, making sure that the enemy will always be on their starboard side. When defense in action. And the red team will make sure that the enemy is always on their port side. And once again, the, the red team went for that mana cannon spam. Both of them have three mana cannons. And that's like the one big thing about the mana cannon. It has no flood of rain. It has no flood of damage. Like the damage is not to be underestimated. Most importantly, together with the Seeker missile, it has the longest range in the game. And the righty decides to step forwards, and sadly dies. While the Sora, while Soren with his Drake's claw, sadly bishoped himself, getting stuck on an island and now getting harassed by. The red team, even though much as that is a red, the, 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 that is red, that is actually orange. So I do appreciate putting in the effort of painting your ships in roughly your team's colors. Or will you finish them off with his. Double uh, <laughs> side weapon right now. Seems like it's going. F there we go. Oh. That will be. Oh, actually, both, both ships are surrendered again. Oh, just kind of missed that. Um, we'll just go quickly go back to my own ship here. And uh, make sure to make this a little...
And there we go, it is time for the third round of the finals. And this time around it will be, uh, once again, Heavy Frickets. And the William Wellington team is at match point right now. If they manage to win this match, they will obtain the victory overall. So, well, we're seeing similar ships again, but I'm gonna start us off with Tin. Sorry, with Bay in his beef Wellington Mana Griffin, which we have seen before with the four forward facing mana cannons. And then we have uh, Tin with his Snipey, which is once again Mana Griffin. This, in this case, five forward facing mana cannons. Then we have Tico Saltica with his lopsided dragon, the stone dragon, flying this lot of or left sided. And lastly, we have Soren the Pirate Destroyer and his Wonderbolt, a Victory Falcon, putting this load out. So we'll see how this goes. Ooh, actually, Red Team taking quite a wide uh, approach. Once again, worth pointing out, Soren has gone for a dual, per dual side build, while the lopsided dragon is on left side. And the two mana griffins are mostly forward facing. Actually, that's that's an interesting thing to do. Positioning yourself behind an island. And then. Oh, hey, he's actually shooting. Okay, he's shooting both directions. So we have the Wonderbolt charging in while the lopsided dragon is lagging behind a bit. But definitely managing to distract quite nicely. The question is if he will survive distracting like this. Wonderbolt A's already taken an awful lot of damage, but so is the B Wellington actually. Ah, but it's the Wonderbolt that goes down first. Not quite managing to deal the killing blow. Now we have Lopsided Dragon. Being up. Okay, actually being in range of his ha with his Howies. They are able to put some damage onto the Snipey. Most important thing for them to snipe, for the Lopsided Dragon to snipe, is of course those mana cannons, and as far as I can tell, one of them is already down. Actually, two. Um, but now you also have the Beef Wellington going into position here. So, they will now be eating damage, a lot of damage actually, from two enemy ships, and probably won't be able to really sustain that. Oh, couple times go out. Snipey, Snipey is down. Actually, Beef Wellington getting the getting a broadside going here. Let's look into this a bit closer. Point defense still being decently up to the task, but uh, it's still a lot of damage to face. Ooh, but Serpentines are going strong once more. Beef Wellington taking in quite the beating here. As much as the lopsided dragon has lost an awful lot of stuff, the Beef Wellington has lost its entire core. And with that, actually lost the entire port-facing weaponry. And in this case, I would actually say, due to just playing better, it will be the Stray Cats obtain the victory in this third round of the finals. And we will be right back for the next one.
it will be light frigates. Okay, making my way out. Ship number one is Tika Saltika with the AK light frigate, not Falcon Worth. Flying this load out here. Ship number two on that seam is Soren, the pilot story with his Ceridian Corsair, Nucornia's Wrath. Sporting this loadout. <laughs> then we have uh, Tin with his Wellington, another Viridian Corsair. Sporting this loadout. And lastly, we have Bay with his Spiral Feather, with, uh, with Sunday Special. Viridian Corsair flying this loadout. Put it lays in there. Sometimes I get confused. <laughs> and let me just check this again. Well, this is all rockets and pointer fans. Interesting, interesting. Um, so what we have is Soren going for a rather similar build to our devs. With the triple mana cannons. While over here, she triple shield. Ballsy. We have. Ah, uh, we should have more mana cannons, yep. So. Xoran's build is uh, ports. Actually, all builds here seem to be mostly port sided. Actually, using the island to cheekily camp behind. It's the triple shield. Energy is actually going down, even though you can barely see it. Now it should become to the freak. It should come to the first shootout. Uh, oh, we see Soren is strafing away, actually. Even though he has the same weaponry and uh, because moving forwards to possibly get his missiles going. And a lot of cover play going on sure to always have some sort of island in between you and the opponent. Not Falcon with actually sporting no shields. But since uh was the Wellington, we're watching a little bit so much. Yeah, he, he de most definitely neglected um, point defense to quite an extent. So should the not Falcon worth um actually get close, that could potentially deal a lot of damage with all his uh, wasp rocket launchers. Should he get in and should he be able to fire them? Unless of course he gets dis uh, dismantled by mana cannon first. So I'm kinda expecting Soren to return fire, there we go. But missing with them. And already losing one of his. Yep, that took out the mana cannon, that's a rather lucky blow I dare I say. Not a fucking worth, somewhat disabled, but now we have uh, Unicorni Unicornia's Wrath and the Sunday Special exchanging shots. Serpentine goes wild, but uh, well, that actually was a rather better hit for the... Now the, the Unicornia's Wrath is taking a lot more damage than the Sunday Special. I'm actually presenting its ass. Oh, okay. Seems that uh, Tin has disconnected. Call this match right here, right now. Getting there.
Okay, yeah, well... Yeah, um, it seems that Tin has uh, DC'd. I'm trying to get the players to, to leave the match, but they, they not really, they're not really feeling it. So, just in case, I've already really bring the camera over. Uh, so it seems that uh, Soren is getting himself dismantled. And we will have a re- Going for that uh, brave charging. And there uh, we finally go, it's time. Oh, well, actually, kind of. Um, it's We're gonna do a rematch of match 4, um, because one of the players disconnected. So it's still Light Frigates, it's the same ships. At least it should be. So yeah, we have, once again have Unicornia's Wrath and not Falcon Worth going up against the Sunday Special and Wellington. So, let's see what our players will do this time. Hopefully without disconnects.
Okay, let's see then. Sunday special and Wellington are charging forwards across the uh, right flank. Um, well, on that perspective, at least right flank. While the blue team is moving together. It's a bit weird to be actually be able to have guys are visible. Used to that. So, um, seems like the Wellington is actually already going for engagement distance here. As they, uh, as uh, Tin is strafing down this path, but just in the end decides to not go for it. Blue team huddled together once again. Seems like uh, Tikus will <laughs> will be used as a meat shield here. First shots are out, and do need to get close. Uh, Seeker missile out, getting a bit of damage. Ooh. Was probably ends up in the island, but oh, sorry about that. My camera decided to come in. Camera, go over there. Um, must have yeah. I've okay, not Falcon worth taking quite a quite a few shots here actually. Oh, that shot went nowhere. And now taking quite a few mana cans to the ass. That means that Unicornia's Wrath should be able to retaliate on the Sunday special, or not? Also, um. Once again, falling victim to the fact that uh, the island hitboxes are actually bigger than what is visible. <laughs> well, that was a nice cannon spread. Perfectly spreading out to go past Unicornia's Wrath here. And not Falcon Worth is already taking the, such a heavy beating that they are almost beaten. As you can see, but they have... Oh, actually, how many repair... He has seven repair teams. So, he should be getting his ship back in order. Order quickly. That shot just phased through. Say what you want, that ship just phased through the Unicorn his wrath. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. Camera is doing... Camera things? Yep, stay over there. Not Falcon's wrath. Not Falcon Worth is, once again... Uh, is still taking quite a lot of damage, and actually Unicornia's Wrath should be able to retaliate. So, I'm not sure why he isn't opening fire. A lot of missiles going out from the Sunday Special there. Why is Sora not firing? Could very well be, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused. He lost one of his mana cannons. But he should be shooting back. There we go. There's the retaliation. Serpentines for the point defense. Able to shut quite a lot of the incoming missiles down. Two mana cannons have been lost. He's strafing out. But Falcon Wolf might be setting up quite the wide flank. And Unicornia's Wrath, but the Sunday Special has uh, catched on to the caught on to that. Falcon Wolf awaiting them, but from this position, they the Sunday Special will be able to shoot first. And okay, Wellington also moving in. Like this, with this setup, Sunday Special will be able to shoot first because they aren't range, not Falcon Wolf. Okay. That's now we come into the problems that come from casting two v twos. Because this can very well ha very well happen. So I'm gonna quickly change over to the other engagement here with the Unicornia's Wrath getting dismantled f back to front by the Wellington. In the meantime, the Falcon Wolf is also taking quite the beating, not being able to retaliate much to, if at all. Okay, go Wellington going into the starboard side of the and his Wrath, so there might be some return fire, but it's neglectable. As the not Falcon Wolf goes down. And so does Unicornia's Wrath. And with that, it will be uh, William Wellington, the developer team, getting their third victory in match number four. And that means that they have won. I will just quickly charge my camera in for the glory of the Emperor or something, I don't know. I will uh, try to ram the Wellington the hidden island or something. Okay.
Ja. Ja. Oh God, that was quite a lot of damage on the Alpha Strike. And there we go. So, with that, it will be William Wellington, the developers, Tin and Bay, obtain the victory here in the finals. With the final score being 3 to 1. For William Wellington, not for the Stray Cats. There we go, 3 to 1. And they will end up winning this overall. And Challenge apparently failed, failed to make a bronze match. Um, yep, yeah, so there will be no bronze match today. And... As I think our two missing players have, still haven't shown up. So, um... I will end this right here. <laughs> so, uh, thanks to all of you for watching this tournament. It was a rather short one, actually, just about an hour. Really, and I should hope you had fun watching. There were some really good matches. There were some really good builds, especially the developers brought our devs brought out some really cool synergy builds. And I thank you all for watching. And I will definitely do this again at some point. But then, have a good night and see you around.